Hello and welcome to the Workplace Debate, a series of videos created by IDC and sponsored by Shaw. My name is Nathan Budd and I work as a consultant for IDC and I spent the last 20 years really understanding the impact of technology on organisations. Hi, my name's Mick Hayes and I head up IDC's research into the workplace of the future. Across this series of videos, we're going to be exploring the role of quality audio on the modern workplace. And if you want to find out more, then click on the links below to explore more of our reports and understand the subjects in a lot more detail. So this is not really about case studies. It's actually about best practice. What is it that we can do in each of these areas to really achieve something as an organization and really change things for the better? So you need to think about best practices. You know, you might not want to be thinking about so many days in the office, so many days at home. Think about the purpose of the business. What's your objective? First of all, we've, we've got to optimize for that. And there's going to be aspects of home working. There's going to be aspects of office working. How are people going to collaborate? How are people going to work the best together? How are they going to be most productive? How are they going to concentrate? So if we start thinking in those terms, we can start thinking about optimizing the spaces, making sure that the office can work as we want it and is equipped in order to do that, making sure the home workers are equipped in order to do that. And we are seeing that it's actually a minority of companies who are there. Less than 10% from numerous studies would say that they've got a flexible working policy that is fully optimized and that everybody's happy with. The technology really has got to be seamless and frictionless. It's got to be easy to use, easy to optimize. I've got to be able to work as well as I can at home. I've got to be able to work as well as I can at the office. One of the questions you need to ask yourself is who is actually responsible for this? And the other thing you really need to think about is this should be a roadmap. You're simply not going to be able to do it all in one go. And one of the key mistakes that we see within the research is that organizations address this, but they only do it partly. They'll enable some of the meeting rooms, but not all of them. And this is really almost worse than doing nothing at all. What you end up with is this inconsistency, uh, an inconsistency of experience and an inconsistency of the quality of the audio that you may be experiencing across the organization. And that simply doesn't work. We know from the research, audio is very important. Audio relates to perception, very importantly, perception of intelligence, perception of trustworthiness. We know from the research, people report that poor audio quality gets in the way of the outcome of the meeting. So think about removing those through the technology. Don't go down that circle of frustration wheel buying the wrong thing because it's cheap, because it's from an existing supplier. Think about involving the stakeholders. An investment in the right tool that somebody uses every day in multiple mixed mode meetings, that's going to be paying back all the time. So kind of think on a bigger scale, think about the technology removing the obstacles, and then you're on the right track. So perhaps this is about going back to basics, going back to the basics of meeting etiquette and the way in which people interact in meetings. But it's also about looking at the technologies. Do we have the right technologies in place to provide the highest level of quality for our meetings? When it comes to choosing somebody to really push this through, you have to think about someone who's willing to take it from inception all the way to delivery. It also has to be someone who's able to communicate the success of this across the whole organization. Someone that can really escalate it and get everybody on board to show them that focusing on audio quality, focusing on the quality of meetings is going to have huge impacts to the business as a whole. Thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to find out some more information, then please click the links below.